Hello guys, welcome to a new game I am playing. It's called Life is Strange. Uh, I saw this game on Steam and it looked really cool. Uh, it's about a girl who can change time. So right now we're just applying the settings and we're gonna start a new game. Okay, so let's just go through the episodes and see episode one. Chrysalis, Out of Time, Chaos, Dark Broom, Polarized, Polarized. Okay. Um, if you want to go purchase this game, it's on Steam. And we're just gonna go through and let's turn down the subtitles on. Yes. Let's turn that down. Let's turn that down. Okay. Now, let's get going. Um, from the sound of it, this game is uh, rated M for Mature. I've played games like this before, but... Okay, so it's kind of like a Walking Dead, the Walking Dead game. You kind of have, it'll impact the past, present, past, future, whatever. Because she will be going back in time, my guess is. Oh god. I don't talk for this, I just want to wait to see what I have to do at first. Where am I? What? What's happening? Happening? Okay, so it seems like we're in the middle in of a storm. storm. How did I how did I get here? Get here. And where is where is here? Here. Sorry for the echo. It's just my computer probably. Wait. Th there's the lighthouse. Lighthouse. I'll be safe if we safe if I can make it then make it there. I hope. Hope. Please let me, please let me make it there. Get it there. Do I walk? Yep, okay. Let's go, girl. Get up to this lighthouse. These, um, graphics look really good in this game. That's one of the reasons I wanted to play it. Whoa! Whoa, girl! Um, what? Why are you going to the tornado? Tornado. Let's just head over here then. To get into the white lighthouse. Okay, story again. Let's see what happens. Holy shit. Okay. This this tornado just looks beautiful in my opinion, just how it looks moving in the game. I haven't seen anyone play this yet, so that's why I kind of want to do get it in. Oh my god. Oh no. Whoa. Whoa. 
Oh, okay, I was streaming. That was so, so, so surreal. So surreal. Famously called, famously called, sleepily called film, film, little, little, little pieces, pieces of time. Okay, just a second. Let's just resume it. Of time, time. But he could, but he could be talking, could be talking about thinking about photography, as he likely was, likely was. Okay. I'm so sorry for how this sounds. In, I will try and I'm get it fixed. I'm in class. I'm in class. You can just read the subtitles. Everything's, everything's cool. Everything's cool. 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 Let's put, I'm, put this. Let's just put the audio and let's put the voices volumes a little down. I am okay. I'm okay. From light to shadow, to shadow. From color, color to cure, to cure skewer. Okay. Now, can you can you give me an example of a example of a photograph photographer who per, who perfectly perfectly captured the captured the human condition condition in black and in black. I and didn't fall asleep. Fall asleep, and and that sh anybody, that anybody? sure didn't feel like feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus, Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. How do you do this? She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to your that to yourself. Seriously though, I could, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner, and and capture you in a moment of. How do you look at it? And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that isn't that too easy? To Drag to, to aim at the photo and hold the left mouse button the height of their to interact with innocence. it. She had a brilliant eye, so she could have taken another another. Then approach. drag towards. I have look. to admit, I'm not a big fan of her of her work. I pr I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. Wait, what? He captured the entered the essence of post war Why isn't it going? America, America. And there was honest I'm be honesty here for like about the economic minutes conditions to of the this earth. Out. But a beauty. Look at this. Oh. Crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. That's a cool photo. That's what I want to do. I'm gonna get a Polaroid camera and do that. Okay. The beauty in the struggle. You don't you don't have beauty with beauty without a beat. Okay, so let's look Which at some more stuff. Which explains why his wife Frank was Kerouac's photographic graphic muse, and both mm. were the, both were the great chroniclers. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Whoa. Okay, October, my favorite month, the best weather of the year. Let's not read that. Let's just go to the people. Okay, so my name is Max. Um, Mr. Jefferson. Okay, let's go back. Kate. I've forgotten it. I've never seen Kate Marsh smile or laugh in the past month. Is she my friend? And this is Victoria. She seems like a little bitch. Of the 1950s. Well, well. Okay. We've all seen that icon Let's take iconic a shot, of shot of Kerouac on the whack on the balcony. And if you and if you haven't, sh shame, shame, shame. Cap capturing the romantic, romantic urban solid. Sh sh I believe Max has taken what you, taken what you kids call it's call a, a selfie selfie a dumb a dumb word for oh, a word shut for up, a wonderful Mr. Photograph Jefferson or whatever your name is and, and Max has a has gift. a gift of course as you as you all know the fo the photo portrait portrait has been popular and popular since the year since the early 1800s your gener your generation was not was not the first to use to use images for images for se selfie. Just a second. Settings. Video settings. Okay, we're good. Expression. Expression. Sorry, sorry. I couldn't resist and resist. The point the point remains that means that the portrait portraiture has has always been a vice been a vital aspect of aspect of art and foot and photography for the first long it's been around long as it's been it's been around now max since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation can you please 
Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. Um... You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this, this, or not, Max. Max. Is there anybody here, anybody here who know who knows their stuff? Their stuff. That Victoria girl's gonna answer. Louis Daguerre was Daguerre was a French pa French painter who painter who created created Daguerre Daguerreotypes types. A process that gave us to give portraits a strips a sharp reflective reflective style like a style like a mirror. Now you're totally totally stuck in the stuck in the retro zone retro zone. Sad face sad face. I'm getting tired of this girl and Very I good, just. Victoria. Met her. The Daguerrean proce process brought out fine detail and detail in people's faces, making them, making them extremely popular from the 18, the 1800s onward. The, fir the first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your in your textbook, or even online. Okay, class is over. Let's go. Hey guys, don't forget, don't forget the deadline. The deadline to submit a to submit a photo in the photo in the everyday here everyday heroes con contest. I'll fly I'll fly out with the winner. Like I winner said again, sorry about the audio. It's be fed by the next by the art world, world. It's great. It's great exposure, exposure, and it can and it can kickstart a career, start a career in photography, photography. So speedy. So Stella, Emma, and Alyssa, Alyssa, get it to get together. Ta Taylor, don't hide. hide. I'm still waiting for you, waiting for your entry too. And yes, and yes, Max, I see, I see you pretending not, pretending not to see me. Okay. I really don't want to talk to him. Okay. Victoria doesn't waste. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Ooh. That was a lot of money on there. Let's just leave. I see you, Max Caulfield. Caulfield, don't even don't even think think about leaving about leaving here until here until we talk about we talk about your entry your entry. Fine. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take Aww. images. He to knows. frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Okay, now we can leave. Let's go. Yeah, look how real the glasses look. About to, about to. They're just right you, all, you always look Welcome cute. to the real world. To the real world. Just cute. Cute. Hot. Then I might, I might send you, send you a special, a special picture. I'm not paying $150 for a concert. Every day? Like because Max wants everyone, everybody to see, to see how hip she is. She is. What's the point of coming? It's so shy. So shy. <laughs> I need a serious timeout. Timeout in the bathroom. Room. Splash water. Splash water on my face. And my face and make sure. Make sure I don't. I don't look like a total. Total loser. Mm. I hate that class. It's so fuck. So fucking boring. boring. Oh, girl. Ooh, I like this music. Hope I can play this in the background. Oh, 
Oh, we get to walk. What do we do? We can check out everyone. Oh, okay. To all of you, American girls, it's sad to imagine a There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. Uh-huh. Like I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. That guy just ran into me. Get over here. Driving a car by the seaside. Watching the world from the bright side. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Does everyone do photos here? Is this like a art school? Who is Alyssa? Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. American girls in the movies. No one can tell. This is mine. I love that picture of mom and dad on the deck. Hello, Jack. Oh, Jack. Kiss, kiss, kiss. kiss. <laughs> Andy, you look, you look totally fabulous. Fabulous as usual. Is this Taylor? Yeah. Okay, let's keep checking out these people. Oh, she's pretty. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. Yep, his name is Justin. Okay. Okay. Let's... Let's not deal with the bullying. It looks like she's been gone for months. Missing Rachel Amber. Somewhere around the mountain. No one could try her fountain. Till she got tired. Let's go see this guy first. Wait, what? That's when I found He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. Oh, don't say that. Just talk to him. Who this? There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Who, who this kid? Let's talk. Okay, and who is that? There's Juliet from my dorm. Oh, and I didn't another need to click Vortex on Tyler's Club disciple. Yeah, yeah. Let's just head to the bathroom. That's what we were gonna do anyway. Okay. Empty. Good. But nobody can. Nobody can see my see my meltdown. Why are you having um, a meltdown? You're fine. Except for me. Okay, let's get some water on your face, girl. I really like this game so far. Just relax. Stop stop torturing your torturing yourself. You have a you have a gift. Gift. You do. Oh. Fuck it. <gasps> Why is she ripping that up? That's a nice photo. When a door closes, closes, a, win a window opens, opens, or something, something like that. I hate Victoria Chase. Oh, uh, that girl. Okay. 
Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Okay, let's take a photo. Um, why is there a boy in here? Like, what the fudge? Fudge. He doesn't see me, does he? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You stress. You you're okay. You're okay, bro. Just throw. Just come to three. Three. Whoa, dude. Don't be. Don't be scared. You. You own this. Own this school. Apparently, he owns this school. I want school. it. I want He's it. Probably I the could blow, I could blow it. <laughs> One of them. You're the boss. Boss. So what do you want? Want? I hope you check the perimeter. Perimeter is my step. My step ass would say. Let's say. Now, now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. For you. Wrong. You got. You got hella cash. Cash. That's my family. Who is she? Family. Not me. Not me. Oh boo hoo. Poor, boo -hoo. Poor little rich little rich kid. I know. You know you've been pumping pumping drugs and drugs and shit to kids around kids kids around here. Ooh. I bet your respectable, respectable family would help me would help me out if I out if I went to them. Them, man, man, I can see I can see the headline headlines now now. Leave them them out of out of this bitch bitch. Ooh. I can tell everybody everybody Nathan Nathan Prescott is a but is a punk ass who gas who begs like a little like a little girl and talks and talks to himself to himself. You don't know who the who the fuck I am. Why is he I pulling am? a gun? Who, who you're messing around sitting around with? Where'd you get that? What are you what are you doing? Wing. Come on, come on, put that thing that thing down. Don't ever, ever tell me what to me what to do. I'm so sick sick of people people trying to, to control me. Throw me! You are going to get in to get in hella more tr more trouble for this for this than drug than drugs. Nobody would would Ever even for even missed your missed your punk ass punk ass would they would they get that gun away from away from me psycho psycho no what the heck is it ever off again Oh, she reversed Whoa. time. What the f what the fuck? Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna end the episode How here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you here back here next time. Bye. In, in the bathroom.